Magandang araw po muli mga kaguro, kaibigan at kaimpleyado Welcome back again to our YouTube channel, Ang Guro Batas at Ang Bayan Maraming maraming salamat po sa patuloy ninyo na panonood at pagsubaybay sa ating YouTube channel Mga kaibigan, pag-usapan naman natin yan ang tinatawag na guidelines on official travels in the Department of Education, especially on local travels. This is based on Department Order Number no. 22, Series of 2019. Ang una po natin tatalakayin, ano po bang pagkakaiba ng official business and official time. Marami po mga kaguro at mga school heads ang nalilito kung ano po bang pagkakaiba ng official business at official time. Matatagpuan po natin yan sa definition of terms in Department Order No. 22 Series of 2019. Official business refers to official travel wherein the transportation expenses and miscellaneous expenses or the daily travel expenses incurred including the salaries and benefits while on travel shall be funded by the Department of Education or by other government entities. Malina po yan mga kaguro, kaibigan at kaimpleyado. Pag sinabi po nating official business, you are entitled to transportation expenses, miscellaneous expenses, and daily travel expenses. Babayaran ka pa po ng salaries and benefits. Ano naman ang tinatawag na official time? Official time refers to official travel wherein no government expenses shall be incurred, spent, except for payment of salaries and other benefits of officials or employees on travel. So malinaw po yan mga kaibigan. If you are on official time travel, hindi ka po babayaran sa yung transportation expenses, miscellaneous expenses, and other daily travel expenses. Of course, you are entitled for your salary and other benefits. So malinaw po yan mga kaguro, kaibigan at kay empleyado, if you are on official time, hindi po kayo babayaran sa inyong mga nagasto, sa inyong travel. However, you are entitled to your salary and other benefits. Ano po ba yung mga pagkakataon na maaari kayo makapag-official time on your travel? Granted by the civil service, one day official time if we are renewing our license. Maaari din po natin gamitin yung official time if we are attending on seminars and conferences wherein it is not sanctioned by the Department of Education, covered by Department Memorandum, only by the advisory. So, ibig sabihin po, you have the option to attend or not to attend. However, you seek permission from head of office in order for you to be allowed to use your official time. Now, puntahan naman po natin yung approval of travel authority. Travel order. Sino po ba nag-approve ng ating mga travel authority or travel? Marami din po mga kalituhan na nagaganap dito. Kasi minsan po may perma yung ating. Minsan po may perma sa recommending approval o kaya sa approval ang ating mga public schools district supervisors or yung mga PSDs. Travel of the school head within the division, outside the division, or outside the region is with the recommending approval of the assistance division superintendent and approval of the school's division superintendent. So malinaw po, so, malinaw po yan mga kaguro, wala po doon pinipirmahan ng public schools district supervisors. Maliban na lamang will be your local policy na makakountersign mo na siya before the name of the assistance schools division superintendent for the recommending approval. Pero hindi po mag a ang kanyang pangalan with the recommending approval or approval. Malinaw po yan sa ating guidelines mga kaguro. Sino na Naman po ang approval of the travel authority or travel order when it comes to our teachers. Teaching and non-teaching staff travel within the division, the approval is with the school head. Wala na pong recommending approval. Travel of teachers and non-teaching staff within or outside the region. The recommending approval is the school head and the approval is the school's division superintendent. Wala na pong makikita ng perma ng PSD. Recommending approval, inuulit ko po, school head at ang approval naman ay school's division superintendent. That is based on our guidance. Now, ano naman po ba ang tinatawag na locator slip? events and errands that would require leaving from or going out of the permanent station or workplace during the office hours within the day, duly approved by the head of office, his or her authorized representative and countersign by authorized personnel in the office visited shall be used. The certificate of appearance from the office visited may be secured in case such portion was left unsigned by the person by the person visited. The accomplished signed locator slip shall serve as the authority to travel 
and may be used for reimbursement of actual transportation. In no case shall this be used for personal business. So malinaw po yan mga kaguro, kaibigan at kaimpleyado. If you are leaving your official or permanent station within the day at babalik ka din within the day, you have to secure a locator slip at papipirmahan mo doon sa likod, doon sa opisina na binisita mo. O kaya pag hindi niya pinirmahan, you can secure a certificate of appearance. Na paalala lang po, this locator slip shall not be used for personal business. Po, maraming 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 salamat po. Mabuhay po kayo. God bless us all.